Good evening, everyone. I'm Charlie Lapastore. It's already been five months since March Madness, a month where Southern Miss, I'm sure, hopes to be still be playing in come next season. And that's all starts with good regular season play. The Golden Eagles know who they'll have to beat and play to get there next year. Head coach Doc Sadler and the men's basketball program announced the complete 2017-18 schedule today. And Sadler said, quote, this will be one of the most challenging schedules we've had since I've been here, both in and out of conference play, end quote. November 10th is when it all starts, folks. The season opener at home against Southern New Orleans. Then they'll have to go up against a team that knows a thing or two about March from last season, Michigan, who made it to the Sweet 16. This will be the first time they meet the Wolverines on the court. The Golden Eagles also will play in the Sanford Pentagon Showcase in South Dakota in November. Conference USA play starts in late December. Now that's the time the Golden Eagles hope to be in a good position before battling their conference foes trying to get into the madness of it all come March. Well, it's still summer for vacay for students, but not for the Golden Eagle student athletes on the volleyball team. Today, it was the team's first organized practices and workouts of the 2017 season. Yes, that means fall is right around the corner. The season starts on August 25th. Sophomore Molly Coughlin said, quote, I'm really excited for this upcoming season. We have some real good freshmen coming in who will be real strong players. They're all working really hard in weights and team practices are coming up right now. I'm just really excited to see how everyone will do, end quote. From day one to August 25th, you can see if the team does in fact come together as season tickets are on sale with that first match at Reed Green Coliseum. One of the most well-known at his position in the NFL, defensive tackle Vince Will Ferk announced his retirement via Twitter today. He was drafted by the Patriots in the 2004 draft's first round, playing seasons with New England, including winning Super Bowls in his first and last seasons with the Pats, then played for the Texans in 2015 and 2016. He was in five Pro Bowls and made an All-Pro first team. Now, in his announcement on Twitter, he said, no more cleats, I'm moving on to smoke meats, <laughs> as it was a hymn of hanging up his cleats, then grilling in the video, tagging Kingsford Charcoal in it. Well, just as one player retired, one dude who was just in retirement just came out of retirement. That's right, Dolphins QB Ryan Tannehill suffered an injury last Thursday, which prompted Coach Gase to contact former Bears QB Jay Cutler. Gase, of course, was Cutler's former offensive coordinator with the Bears and wanted Cutler to come out of retirement to be his QB for the Dolphins. Long story short, Cutler said yes, so after getting ready to hang up his cleats for a mic in a network TV career, Cutler is back on the field now with Miami. In a situation like this, I mean, just doesn't come, doesn't come along um, very often. I mean, I know Adam um, very well. I've known him since 06, the first year I came out. Uh, I know the system. Um, you know, you're talking about a playoff team with a, with a lot of really, really good football players, a lot of potential. So it was one of those things that uh, there, there weren't a lot of opportunities or jobs out there. If they would have came up, I would have taken. But um, this has got to be the top of the list. Jay, what kind of training have you been doing the past four months? He was getting ready to sit back, enjoy their retirement. Mm. Oh, he's back at it. Back at it again. <laughs> yeah. No we'll Colin Kaepernick, just Jay Cutler. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can go on about that. Yeah. Jay Cutler, come on. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. 